Hello YouTube. Tim here and I have a piece of half inch Schedule 40 PVC. One of the things I want to do today is to burn it and destroy it just a little bit. I want to have a few examples that I can show people. I'm going to be putting in my PVC archery quick reference guide of what PVC looks like when it's in good condition like this which is just nice healthy smooth white then when it gets a little glossy when it's heated when it gets burnt and when it is catastrophically just beyond well you'll see it'll turn slightly yellow at first to brown to black we've done this sort of thing before but I don't think I have any good really uh, easily available references for what it'll look like so here we go this is what a PVC pipe looks like when it's in good condition okay stage one complete so again here's our PVC pipe and what I did is I heated it rather gently until you can see here at the end where it got hot it started to crinkle just very slightly and it's slightly shinier there than it's where it's a little bit more reflective so those are the two tail signs for the first stage of slight overheating. This is not great, but probably not the end of the world. I'd be careful, but it's probably not gonna cause an immediate failure at least. So it's slightly wrinkly there. You can even feel it here. It's nice and smooth texture. Go along here and now it's bumpy and just doesn't feel quite right. And especially when it's hot it has this glassy appearance if you overheat it too much it will look very glassy now we're going to go ahead and heat it to the next stage which is burnt decomposition and just see a little pale yellow starting to appear light light brown or pale yellow and again if you can see especially at an angle let me try and hold it at an angle so it'll really show you what i'm talking about about that glossiness I don't know if you can see that, but it's very glassy, looks very shiny, and this isn't going to go away nearly as much as it would when it was uh, uh, less heated. You still get that crinkly effect, and definitely it's miscolored. If this was in a bending section of the bow, I would be very careful. If this is in a non-bending section, like the middle of a sea or a non-bending section of a recurve with lots of material around it, I might, might be okay having this, but even then, even this for me is a bit too much. This is just overcooked PVC, and decomposition happens very rapidly. Let's continue okay, on. Here we are, next stage. This is dark yellow, light brown. The PVC, likewise, is, is still extremely glossy. You can see that as I shake the, uh, the PVC there as I move it. And towards the edge, you can even see the next stage where it's dark brown, brown to dark brown at the very edge. This is one reason you have to be very careful about the edges of PVC, like where the knocks are. They heat very quickly. So use caution. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to continue taking this down the path to being a burnt and destroyed chunk of PVC. And maybe I'll hit it with a hammer, we'll see. Here we are just a few seconds later. And you'll see some very dark brown to nearly starting to turn black areas right in the center of the splotch. Those popped up and started to bubble as they were heating. So massive decomposition as the uh, chlorine in the PVC is converted to hydrogen chloride gas along with the uh, hydrogen in the uh, actual pipe itself. So that's causing it to bubble up burn, become brittle. It's not a good thing. Let me go ahead and I, would, I just want to show it to you while it's happening so you can see what it looks like as it's happening. Let me try and get out of the way of it. And I'll just hold it in one spot so it burns really quickly. And you'll see it start to take. There you see it, start to bubble up. That is bad. And it's smoking. So that's starting to undergo actual like pyrolysis, not just de thermal decomposition. One last thing to show you. If you can look down the tube, uh, it's really hard to see, but here's the burnt spot. 
and here's down the tube, it's not burnt on the inside. Almost all the damage is here on the outside. I don't know how deep it goes. We could actually scrape it off and find out, but it's not likely to be very deep. The thing is, that's enough. All PVC needs to fail is an, a point for a crack to start. Once a crack starts, it'll fail pretty easily. But because it's a nice, smooth, homogeneous network, uh, it's very robust. That's what gives it its strength. So anyway, there you go. Let's just call that burnt enough. I don't see the need to take it any farther because yes, it will turn blacker, but I think you get the idea. And this right here actually shows you almost all the stages all in one, from a yellow right at the edges, brown, dark brown, all the way to black in the center. So a good example, I'm gonna make little pictures from these to add to the quick reference guide and if you see uh, any pipe that looks like this anywhere nearly as burnt as this, that's bad. I don't even have any examples of what just plain old old PVC looks like. That'll be just PVC that's been mistreated, that's been uh, left out in the sun for too long. It will yellow as well, but it's nowhere near this bad. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. And uh, safe crafting, everyone.